God. In chapter 25, he said, there's going to be a type of people who only realize in the darkness Perfect. that they don't have light. They had a Jesus and they built this Jesus around their own righteousness. They built this image of Jesus around what they think Jesus should look like, how Jesus should speak, what he should do, how he should lead, how he should govern their lives. There's a problem though with this Jesus. He doesn't shine in the dark because he's not the real Jesus. He's one crafted and created out of the hearts of men because has that not always been the inherent problem of fallen man that in ourselves, that's what Satan sowed in Adam and Eve, in ourselves we can be as judges and we can know what is good and what is evil. That's the inherent fallen nature of humanity. And so if that is not surrendered, we bring that into the kingdom of God and we form the Jesus that we want. We pick and choose little pieces out of the scripture and we start cutting and pasting. And before you know it, we have crafted a Jesus. The problem is that when darkness comes, when trial hits, when difficulties abound, when it looks like there's no way out, this Jesus doesn't shine in the dark. Matthew chapter 25, Jesus said there's going to be five wise and five foolish in this last hour of time. And the foolish suddenly, because of the darkness, realize we can't see him. Why are you so excited about this moment we're living in? Don't you understand how difficult these days are and are going to be? But the righteous will say, can't you see? Can't you lift up your head? Don't you understand the bridegroom is coming? Can't you see him? Do you understand? And the unrighteous, the foolish will say to those that were wise, give us what you have. What is it that you have that gives you this kind of vision? Why can you see Jesus in this darkened moment in history when we don't see anything? We see destruction. We see difficulty. We see bankruptcy. We see moral failing. We see society degenerating all around us. But yet you are clapping your hands and you are talking about a great day, not just to come, but it's already here. What is it that you see that we don't see? Why is it that the Jesus we have made, we can't see him? Why has he hidden from us? Why is he outside of our view? Thank God the judgment still comes with a promise. Second Chronicles 7:14 defines it as a game-changing prayer that begins with the recognition of its own need. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Perfect.